Hello everyone, welcome back once again to Career Q, a place to curate your career. So a few days back when I had put a video on SAP basis, there was one viewer who had requested for me to make a video separately discussing the online platforms or from where you can study more about this SAP tool and know more about it, gather your knowledge. Now, because uh, there are a lot of materials online and um, some are very heavily paid, some are free of cost and you know, as a candidate, you often get confused because there are there's a plethora of uh, channels and a plethora of people who is making videos. So, you know, you do not know which source is reliable and hence that person had asked me to make a separate video in which I share about the places from where you can initiate your SAP based learnings. So in today's video, I will be covering that topic. Now, let me tell you that if you are here to understand things from me, I do not give a technical knowledge. I am here just to explain things and to provide what is correct, what is incorrect, what's going on in the market, where you should make your career, where you should join as uh, an employee. These are the things that I discuss in my channel. If you are someone who's looking for me teaching about a technology, then I think you are in the wrong place because I... I do not aim to teach on any tool or technology because I think that there are already a lot of teachers out there. You know, everyone is busy teaching, but no one is telling whether this is the thing that you should be learning, whether this is suitable for you, whether or if you make a career out of it, whether it's going to be the most correct decision for you. To me, these are the things that are of much greater concern because, you know, you as a candidate should know what you like, what you dislike, where you are comfortable making your career because it is what you will be doing for the remaining 40, 50 years of your life. So, you know, you need to have a clear picture of what you're going into. So that is the uh, motive of me creating this channel and me giving you the knowledge. I am not here to teach. If you are hearing me, if you're watching any of my videos based on any tool or technology, if you're expecting that I'm teaching you that tool, then uh, or I'm teaching you that technology, then you are in the wrong place. You can go elsewhere. However, in today's video, I will be telling you where you need to go if and when you want to learn SAP. Be it you're a beginner, an intermediate or an advanced learner, you can anytime go to these places. There are ample of materials which, you know, uh, deal with all these three categories of people. So uh, this video will be relevant for one and all. But before starting the video, if you're new to the channel and have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe. Your one subscription gives me a lot of motivation to create this content for you. And without a further ado, let's get started with the video. The first is none other but the SAP Learning Hub Discovery Edition. This is an online platform free of cost, which is provided by the SAP tool or SAP organization themselves. And you all you need to do is you have to go to the SAP website and you need to register in this discovery edition. Once you have registered, if you are in the free version, there are two types of things. You are, uh, there are some courses or some materials that are free of cost. And again, if you are an advanced learner, uh, then you might need to pay some amount of money in order to access the uh, materials that are, you know, not free of cost and that are paid materials. Materials. However, if you are a beginner, you can definitely, uh, you know, without a doubt, go on their website and register and you can learn from the free materials first. Now, since this is from the SAP itself and on the SAP website, all the things are up to date and uh, it is correct to their knowledge. Okay, so it is a very, very reliable source. You will be able to access some PDF, some e-learning materials and various other resources that they have designed for you. So this is the first thing that you can, or this is the first place wherein you can go and start your learning journey with SAP. Coming to the next one is Open SAP. Now, Open SAP is another open source platform, learning platform that SAP has provided. You can go there and there are a lot of learning materials out there, which is also called MOOC. When I say MOOC, the full form is this. So when you are there, you'll find all the materials. 
The good part about learning from open SAP is first that it is provided by SAP themselves and the second is that when you complete one course you, there are a uh, collection of solutions and technologies based on SAP so when you complete one course you will be getting a certificate of completion. Now I know that there are uh, many other platforms who give you a certificate of completion but when you get a certification of completion from the uh, tool or technology itself it holds a greater importance compared to the other learning platforms so you know even though you have not done any certification by paying uh, you know heavily but even if you have this completion certificate it will provide uh, an impact in your resume one more thing that you can do is you can join the SAP Community Network, also called as the SCN. SAP Community Network is one place where multiple SAP professionals are already registered and they gather uh, together to share their knowledge or expertise or, you know, it can be a very good doubt clearing session. If you have anything, you can just go on and put your question or if there is any uh, open discussion going on, you can read through it you can know more about it you know how to solve this problem that problem uh, or you can provide your knowledge and you can uh, enhance your skills on this SAP tool you can get knowledge on what you should do when some particular problem arrives so these kind of real life problem real life situations project based situations you can learn a lot more by just going and uh, work being active in this SAP community network that is SCN that they call. Apart from this, they also include discussion forums, blogs, different articles, especially the newest of the new, what is being discovered, what is being, you know, produced or the latest update that is coming. Everything is updated over there. You can be at the top of this tool and you can know more about this tool every now and then if you are part of this platform. Not to forget that YouTube is one very good platform which provides good education and free education, education that's free of cost or maybe a very minimum cost, you know, uh, there may be some creators who ask you to join in and there may be some 100, 200 rupees of fees. That's it. And you can get into uh, the course of very highly reputed creators. Now, I am going to share a few channels that I find is very good and that, you know, you as a beginner or intermediate or anyone, you can go and you can subscribe to those channels and you can learn more about this tool. So the first one is SAP HANA Academy. This channel is uh, really good in its materials. I am not forcing here, but I'm leaving it on you to decide. You can go over and you can see the topics on which they have covered the videos. And if you find it useful, you can go and subscribe and learn more on SAP from their channel. So yeah, uh, YouTube is one very good source. If you are someone who is just starting and who knows nothing about it, SAP and you know you want to know about the basic of the basics and uh, the modules what are the modules what are the concepts surrounding those modules then you can anytime go on tutorials point go to Google go on tutorials point and then you can visit uh, they have a lot of material on SAP uh, ABAP SAP FICO SAP SD the different modules that uh, SAP have all of those are covered on tutorials point you can get a basic or the uh, basic understanding of the module and the concept and then you can start you know visiting others so you can go through tutorials point and make a base from there so the last platform that I will suggest or recommend is Udemy. Although Udemy is one um, e-learning, paid e-learning platform, but there are several courses on SAP which are free of cost. So all you need to do is you need to have a registered email ID and phone number, of course. And then when you go on Udemy platform, you need to search for free SAP course. And when you do so, there will be a list of courses that will fall down that comes at no cost or even if it has a cost associated it will be very very minimal so you can make use of such courses on Udemy uh, but here I would like to tell you that please don't get enrolled or please don't uh, just see the uh, amount that it is free of cost so I should go into it please go and see what the author or the person who has made this content is he actually someone who can be trusted is he uh, an experienced fellow it has he or she worked on SAP and whether this course just go and read the course content as well whether you know enrolling to this course will uh, take you or give you the understanding that you are looking for if you find it useful then go and enroll yourself
else uh, do not go and enroll on just any other course because you know it's free of cost or anything or because i have recommended don't do that uh, do your own research see uh, the ratings that the students have given whether it's a highly rated course whether it's a highly rated uh, teacher see those things and only then take a decision on uh, when you are in these e learning platforms especially so these are a few places from which you can start your sap journey not to forget that um, there are some very reputed institutes also that will be able to help you guide you and provide this uh, sap knowledge and experience to you however um, if you are someone who want to begin or who wants to make a switch in their careers and wants to know more about sap then i would recommend first going through these free materials uh, so that you do not you know invest much and do not get bound or you do, do not get committed to one thing and then you know at a later point of life you think that okay no this was not worth the time or the money those kind of things don't happen to you so these were the few places from where i felt that the resources are very good and uh, they do not cost much at either they do not cost or they do not cost much so you know you can start learning from here and if and when you think that you will be able to do you can move further move ahead and you know when you get into something you come to know more things about it as well so you never know you can generate your interest and you'll get to know more and more and more things about it and then you will fall in the right track so this is from where you can start your journey i hope that this video has been helpful for all of you uh who want to make a career in sap i would like to wish all of you all the very best for your careers and if there is anything else that you want me to cover in my videos put them down in the comment section if you found this video useful don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel i'll come again tomorrow with another new video till then stay tuned to career q thanks for watching take care bye